I just started it. It was a spot for me and my friends to come back here and play uh, every summer. And this summer with everything, uh, the quarantine and the uh, COVID-19, I just thought that I could make it into something that I really wanted to because I've been a Cubs fan my whole life. So uh, building Wrigley is something everyone wants to. They all, everyone wants to play there and everyone wants to go there. So I just thought I could do it in my backyard. Our neighbors have been great about it. Um, DJ and his friends will play out here probably till 10, 10.30 at night um, with the light shining. And all of our neighbors come and watch um, when they can. And some of them even come in and play. And so it's been very communicable in terms of how everybody's kind of engrossed the, the, the field itself. Scoreboard, so last year I built the first one. And it wasn't as detailed. It was just something I could put up for me and my friends to keep score. And then this summer I wanted to build a new one to sort of make it more replica to the actual one. So about two weeks ago even, uh, I finished that one. Me and my, my mom helped me build it. The detail came as his creativity grew. Um, I'll have to say I wasn't on board at first with the ivy because he had to paint my fence and uh, change the look of our backyard, but I will say it is absolutely cool now that it's up. How much money did you have to invest in? Uh, <laughs> uh, probably more than uh, my parents would have liked, but I think uh, I think when it's all done, I think they're all right with it. Uh, that's, uh, that's all I'm going to say. <laughs> <laughs> ah, see, the owner's crying poor once again. Rob and Judy, I wonder if the, <laughs> I wonder if the neighbors are going to be on the rooftops watching all this. You know? <laughs> Hey, if you like that video, be sure to subscribe to our ABC7 Chicago YouTube channel.